welcome to part two family what I'm gonna be doing in this part I'm gonna be I'm eating my oil very and and the almost too high and it is almost there so let me get it down a bit I want to explain something to you you must try to season your chicken and have your chicken when it is properly seasoned with little or no water in there okay if you notice I had they have there's no water in mine but even though there isn't any water in mine what I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna be browning not fully I'm going to be removing because I use herbs, so I have to remove my herbs them. And I go half fry it off at a reasonably I know on a these end there. You're going to hear the sizzle. When I'm finished, I'm going to fry them off halfway on the eye. Why? Because some people say when you do it, it's going to be a chicken that. Okay, I'll talk to you about that some time, maybe in the end of the video or on another, or some other time. We am using this to pull out the excess moisture. I don't want when it's in the oven and when you put that baked sauce on it with the additional water and juices from it, it in there starts steaming there. Okay? So I'm gonna be browning it off and it almost to eye. And when I am through with each batch, I'll be removing it for this wire rack to leave them there to drip. Okay? When they have been drip, while some frying they are here dripping. And you will see how we proceed from there. Our sauce is still there cooling. So we put it in the refrigerator to make it cool down faster in the interest of time on the video. So remove your herbs. If you don't use herbs, then I have nothing to move. Wow. So you know you must be careful. Okay, we are going to start our browning. And when we are ready to remove these, we will show you how we did them. Not full right through. Okay, soon come back. Okay, this is how you want to get it all fried off. Slightly fried off, browned off, still juicy. Look at them, still juicy. Okay, so you're gonna be removing them now onto this wire rack because I'm doing an amount to fill a casserole. So we are gonna do until we have the desired amount to fill our casserole, okay? This is how you want them looking. So whatever the extra juices, it will be there dripping. We're going to finish, do some more to fill this casserole. This thing is empty. I'm going to do enough to fill this casserole. And when you see my back, I'm supposed to have enough. I'll show you how I will be proceeding with this saril baked chicken. I'll soon come back. Okay, now family, we're finished. We'll look at brown half process. And I hope this is enough to cover this size casserole. Oven preheated at 200 deg degrees Celsius or 380 to 400 Fahrenheit, depending on your stove. We are going to grease our casserole. And yes, this is the oil we just fried it for in. So I'm using some hand towel and I'm going to saturate it properly. Yeah? And I'm going to use it for grease my casserole. Okay? This is the fowl oil. The oil what we use for kind of fry off the fowl a little weird. Properly greased. Mm-hmm. And all of that. Now, we're chicken them drip out. They have all been dripped out. This is all the excess juice. We don't want it down in there. Okay? You're going to go now and you're going to start layering your chicken. As you have, uh, to your size casserole, to whatever you have. Leg, wing, toe, everybody. Put them let like them all squeeze them up because I like the whole of this whole in the car. We want no for the fall you have to eat. You so me I say know how to mix and to match. Let us go finish this now and come back and show you what gonna happen. Mm? Or a cold sorrel baked sauce and you're going to spoon it right over your chicken. Takes a little time, so look at what I'm doing. I might not show you how to do haul. So you make sure you cover everybody. We are going to finish this. You have got the idea and we'll come back to you. Properly spooned on. The oven just should signal to us it's preheated right in. Not in the middle, but at this rack, at this, at the rack, at this rack. And be careful y'all. Right in there, 45 minutes to one hour with some close monitoring. When we return, you will see our finished product look like, eh? Okay, now family, um, our sorry baked chicken is through. We have taken it from the oven one hour to be exact in a famous slow coach oven. 
because therefore probably your oven if it's fast it will be like 45 50 minutes but it was one hour to be exact and you know it's out about 10 12 minutes now it's there leaving to be cooled okay so what I want to do I want to take a piece and I want to show you from side to side okay pretty color right through all baked and this is it it's baked so when you put it on there it will all okay this is like what the sauce is inside there this is what the sauce the finished sauce look like you're perfectly sorry baked chicken okay and now you don't have to worry you can just clean around your casserole and put it on your serving table as is people can come and serve from it the gravy excess gravy is in there the meat is juicy it's soft it's succulent one hour in this and you're not have to ask this is just chicken okay now if you have liked this video all i have of you i'm chewing ginger i'm sorry is to give me a thumbs up make sure you're subscribed to the jamaican cooking journey when you do subscribe remember to hit the notification bell that will enable you to be informed when another video is uploaded okay you see how much days and some out and we have lost ground so i'm coming back at you you know i'm a coming back at you in you know, a family i'm a coming back at you make sure your notifications are on today's post notification shout out goes to thank you for your love thank you for your support okay and all our contacts will be in the description of the video and all of that will leave for you the video on how we make our um traditional sorry drink so you can go and prepare your sorry that is if you want to have it all made like this and all of that debbie from Dongayar, bless no stress